Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is JT from Above and Below. But I want to talk about this controversial, um, you know, was been on people masks and what people talk about on their YouTube channels are about is Canelo ducking, uh, Dan uh, I mean, not Dan Jacob, but uh, is he ducking um, Charlo, Jamal Charlo? I mean, hey, man, if you, it's, it's like this. I'm going to put it like this. This is my thoughts on it. If you're a Charlo fan, you're going to say, yeah, he's ducking um, Canelo. And maybe you might not be a, a Charlo fan. You might just say he might be a Canelo is ducking Charlo. But at the same time, if you're a, Ch a Canelo fan, you're going to say he's not ducking Charlo. You know what I'm saying? Or if, even if you might not be a, a Canelo fan, you might not be. You might say the same thing. I don't know. It's just it's it's just it's just all speculation and all and all what people who who their favorite fighter is at the same time, whatever. I, I guess. But somebody who's who, who like uh, who would say Charlo? I mean Canelo is fighting. He he got he got Carlos. Colin, uh, Colin Smith and uh, Sergey uh, Kovalev for that he want to uh, fight. Those are two tough uh, uh, opponents. You see what I'm saying? So they would say, well, why he fighting those two tough opponents then not fighting uh, Jamal Charlo? Why, why y'all say he's ducking Jamal Charlo? Because he's fighting two tough opponents, which that's that's very that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? If he's talking, but he, that it, but it's, it's it's all talks now. It's not too. Uh, it's not written in stone right now. He's just talking right now. If he want to, he want to fight those two. Cause he just fought Dan, Daniel Jacobs and he beat him. You know what I'm saying? He fought Trooper G two times and it was it was a close fight. But there was the first fight was drawn. The second one they gave it to uh, Canelo Alvarez. And uh, you know, but um, and you you could you could you could say that. But what I just said. I mean, if you said that way. He's not ducking uh, Jamal Charlo if, the way I'm talking about, but in a, in a way he could be saying he could Canelo could be uh, thinking like this. Well, let me fight one one opponent at 168 pounds, and if I lose, then I mean that I lose against a a, a person who's uh, uh, who's 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 different in that weight in that, who got who's got their feet weight in that weight class, and Kovalev is not a a, a, a a pushover, you know. And I could re, I could reflect and not fighting. Jamal Charlo fighting him because if I lose against Charlo, then that means that I'm not really a uh, not saying he's not a good fighter. Yes, he is a good fighter, Canelo Alvarez, but that means that he's not. Um, uh, he would not be what everybody thought he would. He is. You see, him saying pound pound number one. That's what some people put him at, which I don't put him at there right now. But uh, I mean, the the, the sanction of body is not doing him a, a justice for help for I think. Putting him in a situation like that, giving him the franchise belt or status, and giving Jamal Charlo the regular WBC uh, title, and they making rules up, and that's not right. But that's not Canelo's fault. He's not their boss. It's not like he can tell them what to do. Um, but I will say this: if Jamal, if, I will say this. Both of them are twenty nine years old, thirty years old. I'm thinking Jamal Charlo and uh, Canelo Alvarez, and um, and and and, and then, you know, and, and another thing too, like it's like this to me. They both got the. They both the same age. If Canelo Alvarez don't fight Jamal Charlo, never fight him, then I'm gonna say it's a duck. I will say that if he never, he, if he never fight him, you know what I'm saying. But at the same time, who who knows? Everybody said that he probably wasn't gonna fight Dan Jacob, but he did. You see what I'm saying? So, um, I think he's. I he might fight him. He Canelo Alvarez never say he he would never fight him. But come up, you know, when I looked at a certain person channel. He said that this is just another way to give him. Uh, he 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 got stripped of his title because he didn't want to fight uh, Jamal Charlo. Mm, I mean, you could look at it like that too. At the same time, you know what I'm saying. But we never know. We never know because they this because because WC Sanction of Bodies did this, and Canelo Alvarez didn't come out and say anything, and he's not saying anything about it too. Because this is just another way for him not to fight Charlo too. Another, you know what I'm saying, way if he's not mandatory to fight him. But I remember when the WBC uh, told him man, to, mandated him to fight uh, Triple G, but he gave up the belt. You know what I'm saying? Because he said the WBC was treating him wrong because they, you know, because other, you know, certain situations with the WBC did uh, to him and stuff like that. But I think because you know one thing is um, people say that was a duck, and some people might say it might not be a duck. It's all, it's just all about who's your favorite fighter is and and what you think and stuff like that. But right now, I can't say it's a duck or not. I don't know. I, I don't. I can't say that. I, at first, I thought it was. I'm thinking like, but you know one thing is he didn't have nothing to do with the WBC uh, uh, giving him that franchise title. You know what I'm saying? But you know one thing is, let me hold up. But you know one thing is, let me t let me hold up. This is another thing too, I, I, I'm, as I'm thinking about it right now. The WBC gave him the franchise title, right? Another belt, right? Or whatever I'm thinking. 
So he gave his belt to Jamal Jamal Charlo. So why would you give your belt to Jamal Charlo if you really wanted to fight Jamal Charlo? You could have kept your belt and say, no, fuck that franchise belt. That they gonna that's gonna make me look bad. You see what I'm saying? Canelo Alvarez, which he haven't said nothing yet at all on Instagram or Twitter or anything. He he haven't said nothing about the franchise title or belt or whatever. You see what I'm saying? So that's he, it's kind of suspect now. As I'm thinking about it, it could be possible a duck. Because he could have said, because he's the A-side, he could have said, and you know, he's, he's Mexican, you know, you know, what they say, Mexicans are, uh, he's got that Mexican blood, and he's a warrior, you know what I'm saying, he, he don't duck nobody, whatever, you know what I'm saying, he, and, um, you know, this will make, this not, this, this will not make him look good, even though he didn't have nothing to do with it, but the same time, if you step, if you stepped in that title, that belt, that means that you are part of, you, you, you got, you, you you would you would you agree with them for doing what they doing right now to you and Jamal Charlo, which uh, a lot of people say Jamal Charlo haven't fought nobody. But if Triple G and uh, if Triple G, well, obvious Triple G don't want to fight him. Jamal Charlo, Canelo Alvarez, I don't know yet, but at the sad time he accepted that if he accepted this, that mean that that mean that it's a possible. It might be a duck. As I'm thinking about it right now, as, as I'm talking to y'all right now, if he accepted that that franchise title, because if, if, if you if you a boxer in the professional boxing, and and you want to if you want to be an undisputed heavyweight, uh, I mean undisputed uh, middleweight champion of the world, then you wouldn't accept that 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 franchise. That's just a rule they're making up to make you look not make you look good at all, because you already got that that clan brutal over your head. You got the uh, the the judges uh, uh, you, uh, you, the judges favoring you because you're the cast cow. You got that over your head, and you know, and you know, you don't want to have another thing like this over your head. That's what making you. That's what that's what keep you off the my pound for pound number one list, Canelo Alvarez. That's what I would say. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, it's not like Oscar De La Hoya told, told Ascension Bias to do this, but you never know. Money talks, bullshit walks. But at the same time. Canelo Alvarez is his own boss to a certain degree. He fight whoever he want to fight. He can say, I, I want to accept this franchise title or don't accept the franchise title. And if he do, that means he's part of it. If he don't, then that means that he wasn't on, he's, he's, he don't agree with it. He, he said, that, he think that's bullshit. Don't help me out. I do, I do everything. I did, I got myself here and I'm going to get myself out of the situation. He fought Dan Jacobs. So, um, and, 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 and uh, 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 some people could say that he fought Dan Jacobs. Why would he fight? Why, why, why would he be ducking? Canelo Alvarez, because Dane Jugger had the IBF belt. Jamal Cholo had the uh, WBC internal belt, I'm thinking. Uh, you know, So now he got the regular uh, WBC belt, which mean that means that Canelo Alvarez gave up his belt then. You, that, that's what that means. So that means that mean this might be a possibly a duck. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, he's been waiting for two, two to three years. And I'm thinking, I'm, uh, as I talk to y'all right now, I, I'm. I'm coming up with this. I'm thinking about this right now. If he just gave up his belt like that, I wouldn't give him my belt because I'm. He was talking about being the undisputed uh, middleweight uh, uh, champion of the world, and he'd be the first Mexican. Uh, he um, he was the unified, but not the undisputed. You know, so he could have he could have went out there. He, he I think he had all the, most of the belts except uh, Demetrius Andrade. You know what I'm saying? So he could have he could have fought him, but. I don't know why he not fighting him, and I don't know why he not fighting Jamal Charlo. I mean, but I can see why he's fighting Triple G because of the money. I can understand that. I'm not going. I'm not going to disagree with that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I remember. I remember. Like, like I say, I remember in the beginning when I first uh, uh, was talking about this. I, I don't know, but now I think I do. I think he is ducking him now, as as I'm thinking about it right now. You know what I'm saying? Because you you should you shouldn't sell me if you think it's bullshit, and you know how people gonna feel. Already about it if they just adding rules to make it difficult for him to fight his mandatories. I know he fought the AJ. I know he fought Triple G. You know what I'm saying? I wish he would have fought the Triple G of three or uh, three years ago, but not the Triple G of two years ago. I mean, uh, four, four. I mean, I think it was four years ago, if I'm not mistaken. But he fought the Triple G, and it was a, it was very a, a, a tough fight. You know what I'm saying? But some people say uh, Canelo Alvarez dug him when he gave up his belt. So at the same time, that's how Triple G got the belt at the same time. But you know one thing is, man, um, it's just all about who you favor. But I don't, I don't, I don't favor. I don't, I don't favor Can uh, Charlo over Canelo or Canelo over Charlo. But it's just the fact that he gave up his belt. And if if, if this put, put like if if Charlo got that regular uh, WBC belt, that means that he gave up his belt. That was just another way to saying that. Well, I don't want y'all. Don't I don't want the WBC is Mexico. They from they from Mexico. They, that that company's from Mexico, and they could say well. 
well, we're gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna get you. We're gonna front, we're gonna make up a rule to make you don't look really bad in the public, which gonna make you look bad a little bit, but not that much as a, a coward. Just put it like that. You see what I'm saying? So it's just a reflection or stuff like that. So I'm thinking to right now. It's a it's a duck for right now, but it's a possibility that, that uh, Canelo Evans might fight him. He might fight him this but by what everybody's talking about right now, by what the WBC section by is doing to Canelo and. Can, uh, Jamal Charlo. Why that fight happen? If, if, I mean, Canelo Evans have fought tomato cans too, and everybody keep on saying Charlo's fought tomato cans. Okay, okay. If he did, then um, if he's the if he's the tomato can, then let Charlo and Canelo Evans fight each other. But I mean, Charlo have called out Canelo Evans, but Canelo Evans haven't called his name out at all. Austin Austin Hoya haven't uh, sp or haven't spoke on Jamal Charlo at all. They haven't said nothing about Charlo, you know what I'm saying. But at the same time, Jamal Charlo had the, he had a, he had a belt, but it wasn't better. I, it was, I I see why they went after Dane Jacobs, but they didn't go out to meet Andre. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be the undisputed uh, undisputed uh, middleweight champion of the world, but they didn't do it that way, man. So uh, it's, it's it don't make uh, the WC look good, and it don't make Canelo um, um, Alvarez looking good now because he accept he, that, that means that he accepted what they did. You see what I'm saying? So at the same time, man, what y'all think about what I'm talking about? If you got any comment, uh, comments, leave a comment at the bottom of my page. Uh, subscribe to my page, like my page, hit the notification bell for new videos from me. This is JT from Bum Blow the Belt. All right, bye.